Kim here, Homeschooling Mom 2-4 and Chaos Coordinator since 2009. We've got a new recipe we're trying out tonight. While that cooks, gonna interview the girls on some Little Red Riding Hood books. In a previous video, I talked about how we go through our poor knowledge series and on the younger levels, whenever we get to certain stories, I go to the library and get loads of books. I'll put a list below of all the books we checked out this time. The girls are each going to show you their two favorites and why. We're also very obsessed with Little Red Riding Hood. We love the movie and the soundtrack to Into the Woods. And our current eight-year-old, when she was six, she dressed up as Little Red Riding Hood. I'll put some pictures here. And my mom was Granny. And Grandpa was the wolf. Yeah, my, my dad was the wolf. <laughs> okay, so here's Samantha. Okay, first, how old are you? I'm 12. What grade are you in? Uh, seven. She is my biggest book reader. She has read all of the books. I actually haven't read all these because she ends up sitting and reading them to everybody for me. So, 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 so. Like mother, like daughter. This is also a color cut owner, so Hyman. She illustrates a lot of books and her style is very unique. And I like looking at the pictures because. Mm. So you like this one because of the yeah, pictures. Yeah, what she does is she'll like border it. I'm she done. sucks her finger in this. Oh one. no. Whoa. All right, and what's the other one that you really like? Little Rohad Riding Hood. It's a Spanglish book. I don't really like rhyming books, but. Little Red Riding Hood throws a pot of soup on the wolf in this story. So cool. it's a modern version of it. Thank you very much. Okay, this is a pound of sausage and one medium onion. It's a new recipe, so we probably won't have any leftovers. Editor Kim here. Pro tip, when you're trying a new recipe with your family, only make the exact amount that it says per serving per person in your family. If you have a huge amount and nobody liked it, you're gonna have a lot of leftovers and it'll go in the trash or you'll end up eating the same thing for the next three days by yourself. If you don't have a lot of leftovers and everybody liked it, then they will be left wanting more. So next time you know to make a double batch, but you didn't waste anything. But while this cooks, Genevieve, come here. Can you tell she has two older sisters? Okay, Genevieve, hold on. How old are you? Five. Five, and what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Very good. Uh, as you can see, what did we just get out yesterday? What are these books for? Giving. The Thanksgiving ones, and that's actually not even all of them. Five. The girls took a big five. stack. Are you five? Are you five? Nine. No. Nine. How old are you? Say one. Nine. Say one. Nine. One. All right, Genevieve, it was really hard to decide. Nine. This is one that she really likes. What's it called? The cat, the dog, little red, the exploding eggs, the wolf, <coughs> So it's a funny one, right? Oh, cuff, cuff. We're all kind of fighting off something Mommy. right now. Is it about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah, but it's the cat that's telling the story. Oh, the dog dresses up. <laughs> Is that too fast? A little bit, yeah. Like mother, like daughter again. Let's show the other one. Little Red Riding Hood. Mm, by Jerry Pinkney. Pink. And why oh, do you like this one? What did you say that you really liked about this one? Because it's snowing. Mm. It's winter. Yeah. So you like the setting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did you like about her that you told me? She has pretty hair. She has pretty hair? Whose hair does that remind you of? Bella. Bella does. Yeah, she Bella. has kind of like that. And Bella likes to wear Red Riding Hood cape too, doesn't she? Bella. The meat's all brown. Is it? Okay, perfect. So I've got uh, four cups of potatoes boiling with yeah. some water, and then I got some milk and flour simmering, and then this is Mega Head breakfast that we're working on so for some breakfast burritos. And it is now Charlotte's turn. Little Missy was hiding in the bathroom. I have no idea where she would get such an idea. She thinks she's so funny. First of all, who um, did you dress up as last um, Halloween? Well, Riding Hood. From? Into the woods. Show me your two favorite Little Red books. Little Red by Bethan Wulvian. And what do you like about that one? Is it the traditional story or is it an adaptation? It's sort of different. So this is it one an is adaptation? <laughs> Which is unlucky for Grandma. I like the unlucky part. Pretend you're trying to convince somebody to buy this for you. What would you say other than you like it? I like the unlucky. Uh, oh, do they say unlucky a lot? Yeah. Oh, got it. And then this one. But you know what? I'm going to have you pick a different one because you know who already said they liked this one. So this is a very popular one in this household. Was that the one you grabbed? Earlier. Oh, then you switched it. Okay. Because you saw it. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. Little Red Veronica. Why do you like this one? I like it because it's modern day. Oh, it's a modern day version yeah. of it? She has a car. Oh. She has a car and this is a hoodie. Can you see that? Yeah, it's a hoodie. Oh, very good. And who is the wolf? Is it a real wolf? 
Oh, it is a real wolf. So who saves her in the end? Granny's neighbor, a tree trimmer. Yes. Yeah, so he wasn't a huntsman, he was a tree trimmer. She gets a, a fur coat, got it. She loves it. Right. <laughs> Tell the girls it's time to eat. Mm -hmm. Go! Go! Eat. Nope, that's mommy's. Here's the final result. It's kind of like a hamburger helper. Let's see if the kids like it. What's the verdict? Genevieve, do you like it? Kind of. So that's a plus for her. What do you think, Charlotte? Um, it's good. Just yeah. ask me if I could make it for Thanksgiving. So pretty sure you like it. Mm -hmm. Samantha? It's good. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I'm not sure if daddy can eat it. I forgot that he's having some problems. So he, the onions, I didn't chop fine enough, but I think I cooked them enough. They should be okay. John had too many chocolate almonds before dinner. So he's just not eating. I liked it. Really good. Some good stuff. It's not trim healthy mama friendly. So we'll see if potatoes for whatever reason, don't give me as much problems as other ones. I've tried sweet potatoes a million different ways. If you guys have any tips on sweet potatoes, I have tried every recipe you could possibly think of. The only recipe I like sweet potatoes in, you know, ma'am, is um, a Thanksgiving one that my husband makes, but it's really just the pecan topping that I like. Oh Not my. so much the sweet potatoes. Definitely repeat. Definitely repeat. Okay, good. So, and the onions weren't too big for you? Mm -mm. Okay, good. It's the first meal he's been able to eat with us in a couple days, so I'm happy to see that he's eating it. I put Tabasco sauce on it, though. Oh, yeah. He puts Tabasco this sauce on everything. It's a repeat, I think. Eee. This is a good, cheap, easy meal. This is the eight-year-old. Instead of just telling me, she does this. She can't reach up here, so she leaves me notes. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. The important part is to learn from them. God bless.